Have you ever wondered how animals live in the wild? Animals face many challenges, from finding food to staying safe. Animals have special ways to survive. These ways are called adaptations. Just like you wear a coat when it's cold, animals have adaptations to help them in their environment. Adaptations are changes that help animals live and grow. These changes can be how they act, how they look, or even how they grow up. Can you think of any animal that has changed to survive? Let's learn more about these amazing adaptations. Animals survive by changing how they act. This is called behavioral adaptation. It helps them find food, stay safe, and care for their young. For example, some animals migrate. Migration is traveling long distances for food or better living conditions. Wildebeest migrate for fresh grass and water. Birds fly south for warmth and food. Some animals hibernate. Hibernation is a deep sleep to save energy. Bears hibernate to survive winter. They eat a lot in summer and sleep through winter. These are examples of behavioral adaptations. Can you think of other ways animals act to survive? Observe animals around you and notice their unique behaviors. Animals also have physical adaptations. These are changes to their bodies that help them survive. Physical adaptations can be things like their fur, claws, teeth, or even their color. A polar bear's thick white fur is a physical adaptation. The fur helps it stay warm in very cold places like the Arctic. The white fur also helps the polar bear blend in with the snow, making it hard for other animals to see it. A chameleon's ability to change color is another physical adaptation. It helps the chameleon hide from predators and sneak up on its prey. These are just a few examples. Can you think of other physical adaptations that help animals survive? Section four. Can animals change how they grow to survive? Animals can also adapt by changing how they grow. This process is essential for their survival, allowing them to thrive in various environments and overcome challenges. This is called a life cycle adaptation. A life cycle is how an animal grows and changes throughout its life. Think about a frog. Frogs are a perfect example of life cycle adaptation. A frog starts its life as an egg in the water. These eggs are often laid in clusters, providing some protection from predators. Then it hatches into a tadpole that breathes underwater like a fish. Tadpoles are equipped with gills, allowing them to extract oxygen from the water. As it grows, the tadpole develops legs and lungs. This transformation is gradual, with the tadpole slowly losing its tail and gaining the ability to breathe air. Finally, it becomes an adult frog that can live on land. Adult frogs are well adapted to both aquatic and terrestrial environments, making them versatile survivors. Butterflies also have an amazing life cycle adaptation. They start as eggs, often laid on the underside of leaves to protect them from predators and harsh weather, then become caterpillars that eat leaves. Caterpillars are voracious eaters, consuming large amounts of foliage to fuel their growth. Next, they form a chrysalis and undergo metamorphosis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar undergoes a remarkable transformation, reorganizing its body structure completely. Finally, they emerge as beautiful butterflies. These butterflies are now equipped with wings, allowing them to fly and find new habitats and mates. These incredible transformations help frogs and butterflies survive in their environments. Section 5. How do these changes help animals live? All these adaptations, whether they are behavioral, physical or life cycle adaptations, help animals survive in many ways. These changes are crucial for their survival and reproduction, allowing them to thrive in their specific environments. Adaptations help animals find food and water. For example, a giraffe's long neck helps it reach leaves high up in trees. A hummingbird's long beak helps it drink nectar from flowers. This specialized beak allows the hummingbird to feed on nectar deep within flowers, which is a rich energy source. A zebra's stripes help to confuse lions, making it harder for them to single out one zebra to chase. This confusion can be a matter of life and death in the wild. Birds build nests to protect their eggs and young from the elements and predators. A penguin's thick feathers and blubber help keep its eggs warm in the freezing cold. This insulation is vital for the survival of their offspring in harsh Antarctic conditions. Section six, can animals change if their home changes? Sometimes an animal's home can change. Maybe the weather gets colder, or maybe new animals move into the area. When this happens, animals need to adapt to survive. If the weather gets colder, animals might grow thicker fur or hibernate. 
If new predators arrive, animals might develop new ways to hide or defend themselves. Animals are always changing and adapting to their environment. It's amazing how creative animals can be in finding ways to survive. Section 7. Why is it important to understand animal adaptations? Learning about animal adaptations is important for many reasons. It helps us understand the natural world and appreciate the amazing diversity of life on Earth. It also helps us understand the challenges animals face and how we can help protect them. By learning about adaptations, we can learn to appreciate the incredible ways animals survive and thrive in their environments. So, next time you see an animal, think about its adaptations and how they help it survive in its unique way. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video so we can all keep exploring the wonders of nature together.